Zell White Army. What is going on? It's your boy Zionist, my beautiful spicy friend over here, Ainsley. I'm here today with another spicy video for you. We're looking at top tips for the Weekend League. So, I already had a good idea of this based on the last two years of Weekend League, but I wanted to play the first Weekend League to really get a feel for it, see if it was any different at all, so I could give you the best advice possible. And well, I'm here today with some spicy, spicy advice. So, here are the top 10 tips that I'd give you for Weekend League. They're not definitive, there's more info that I could probably give. I might miss some points if you feel I do. Let me know. Boys, if you like this type of content, like the video, share it with your friends. Massively appreciate the support. It's been nice to see so much support on the channel, lots of new subs. I'm sorry I was, didn't put any videos out in the last few days, but it's very busy with Weekend League. Uh, I'll probably do a Weekend League recap tomorrow or in the next few days. Unfortunately, the Champs Channel's not working on um, uh, Xbox at the moment, so I couldn't really show you any of my weekly League gameplay, but I hit 28, I'm verified for the year, hit top 100, there's a top 100 reward video coming this week, you don't want to miss that. So the top 10 tips. One, set a realistic goal. Don't go into the weekly League being a goal free player last year, say I'm going to hit top 100 this week. Set yourself a goal that is realistic, that you can aim for, and try to get consistently getting that, and then push to the next level. Having a goal will give you, keep you focused and help you improve. Two, having a meta team. So, obviously the team I've got here is crazy. It's worth like 8 million coins. I'm not saying you need a team as good as this. The better the team you've got, the bigger chance you're going to have. But, just go for worse players than the ones I've got. So, Vieira, get a Fabinho. Ramos, get a Van Dijk. Courtois, even in the Prem, someone like Begovic would be good. Just get decent players who suit the game. And make sure one make sure you use them as well. Three, don't rush your games. I see so many people, see so many people going for like thirty games on a Friday, or leaving all their games till Sunday. I had to do that this weekend, but I didn't have much choice. I seem to be able to play a lot of games in a row, but for most people that just doesn't work. Try spread your games out. That's that was point six actually. They kind of meshed into this same point. Yeah, spread your games out, don't rush them. If you rush your games, you're far more likely to burn out and do a lot worse, which is not something you want. Spread them out, don't rush them. Number four, take a break if you lose. When you're streaming it, I can't really do this because I can't just say, okay, boys, I'm not, I'm going off stream, I'll be back in an hour. I might take a five, ten minute break, but sometimes it might be worth taking a half hour break, do something else for it, watch a show, play a casual game, I don't know. When people lose, Quite often they lose a few in a row because they go on tilt and then they start blaming the game and really losing the head. That's the worst thing you can do. It just It's not helpful, it'll screw you over. Number five, if it helps, have a friend to cheer with. Last night I was on Discord with Jambu for about seven hours when I was playing all my games. It helps having someone there to, who, if I had something annoying happen, if you say, oh, this has happened, they understand it. Um, keeps you calm, just can be a bit more casual, a bit more chill. Obviously, sometimes you have to uh, be quiet and not talk as much, but it helps you to be able to focus. A lot of people sit in a party. I've Not everyone it'll work for, but for me, it helps a lot to have someone to talk to while I play. Six, to spread your games. I've covered that. Seven, stay hydrated. Healthy body, healthy mind. If, you, if you're if dehydrated, you're not going to play as well. Just literally just drinking water, staying hydrated will make a difference and make you play better. Eight, have a game plan for all times of a game. A lot of people, they just do one thing. Like A lot of people this week have played, all they did was cross it into the box. And when I can spot that, I just switch the centre back every time because I know I don't have to mark the cross, so I just mark the header in the box. And most times I stop it. If, that's, if you've only got one plan and the opponent figures out, you're screwed. So it's important, have different game plans. Now to break it down. If you go a goal up and they start pressing you, have a formation you can switch that keeps the ball. I've done a possession tactic, the false nine, got a video on it it's what I use when I go in front if you go behind have a tactic pressure tactic that can get you back into a game I'm doing a video about that tomorrow um, but yeah having a game plan don't panic if you go a goal down know what you need to do nine use loans if needed I used the CR7 loan a few times this weekend a Bamiyang a few times make a big difference CR7 in one game came clutch for me um, it's important that you use the loans when they're available. Some people might not like it, but at the end of the day, other people will use them against you, so why not have them? 10, 
can can be a bit to do with large. Have good super sub. This, I didn't really do the player of the month so much last year, but this Lucas probably cost me about 40, 50,000 coins. He got good packs for him as well, and he's a really good sub off the bench. I don't know if his stats are any good. Two goals in 11 games, not the best. Um, but Mbappe as well. Having good super subs can change the game. I remember one game last night, Mbappe just got in on goal. The guy got a red card late on in the game, and I scored a few minutes later because he had the red card. And Mbappe, being fresh legs, 96 pace, made the difference. Yeah, you might not necessarily be able to afford such a good sub. Somebody like Zaha, Depay, Fred, players like that. Good super subs can change the game. And that pace late on can bring a new stimulus impetus into the team later on. Boys, hope this video has helped you a lot. Appreciate you watching it. Smash the like button. Check out my stream. If you're not before, the link in the description below. I stream every day. I'll be streaming weekly from now on. Keep it spicy.